Here we have an earthworm dissection for my Bio 182 zoology students here at Golden West College in Huntington Beach, California. We'll start by looking at external anatomy. Here we have the prostomium with this little button at the front. And then we have the mouth right there. And then the ring around the mouth is the peristomium. Continuing with external anatomy, we'll notice that this is the dorsal side of the worm because it's darker. This worm has something called countershading where the dorsal is darker. And then here we have the clitellum, a reproductive structure. If we roll them over, on this segment right here, we can see male pores. And then at the very, very end of the worm, we have the anus. Here we have our internal anatomy of our earthworm. Now what I've done here is a single mid-sagittal dorsal incision down maybe half the length of the worm. The hard part about this is it's very easy to cut through not just the skin but through the organs underneath as well. So we'll start off with the anterior uh, part of the digestive tract. Here's the pharynx. And then we'll go a little bit further back. These little dark things are aortic arches, kind of like the hearts. These little light colored things are the seminal receptacles. And then there's a tube underneath all this. There we go, the tube underneath all this called the esophagus. A Little bit further back, we have the seminal vesicles. Usually there's four of them, and these are pretty big. We have this dark line on top, that is the dorsal blood vessel. If we look at our body wall here, we can see that it's kind of shiny. That's from a membrane called the peritoneum. And these little lines here are called the septa, or septum for singular. Continuing with the digestive tract, we have the crop, which is usually pretty soft, and the gizzard, which is usually pretty hard. Now, not on accident, I removed a piece of the, the intestine here to expose the ventral nerve cord. There I am lifting it up. Again, these lines are the septa, and if we could see attached to the septa every once in a while, we'll see a little squiggly thing. The little squiggly things are all called nephridia, the kidneys of the worm. The space here between the intestine and the body wall would be called the coelom. Moving further back in the worm, here we go back, 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 and then not all the way back, we have the intestine that's still intact. That's that piece right there. And I accidentally, I mean, I on purpose opened up the intestine to show the lumen of the intestine. This is dirt the worm has eaten. And then if we look right here at the edge, we can see there's a ridge. See that ridge? Now that ridge would normally point down inside the intestine of the worm, increasing the surface area of the inside of the intestine. That ridge is called the tiflosol.